Hey fellow Star Wars fans, uh, I'm back for another video today. This is going to be a quicker one. Um, there was a YouTuber who commented on my last video on that on that new bust who was asking about the newest Sideshow Premium format Boba Fett. So I said, if you want, I'll make a video. So I'm going to do just sort of like a quick overview of that. Nothing too in-depth, uh, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. But I do want to also take a moment to thank everyone who has watched that video and watched my other videos. Um, I've been collecting Boba Fett items for <laughs> probably over 20 years, probably 25 years. And I post videos because I love collecting. And I love seeing other people's collections. And I love people seeing my collection. And I, I love having a, a method of, of sharing and having people share with me their things and be able to discuss it. So thanks to everyone who watches them and comments on them. And, you know, it's a type of thing. It's a passion that we all share. So I'm glad that we can sort of build that little community. All right. So sappy stuff is done. So this is the... Uh, latest sideshow premium format Boba Fett and like the newest bust it's modeled off of Return of the Jedi and I gotta be honest I always get really excited whenever anything Return of the Jedi is released because the majority of times you see a Boba Fett item it's always Empire Strikes Back that's sort of the most iconic and well-known and recognized iteration of Boba Fett but frankly I like Return of the Jedi more I like the colors I like that the Greens are a little bit darker. I like that he looks a little bit more mismatched because I always kind of think about Boba Fett as being mismatched. Like he's cobbled together armor from different sources, and I've always I've always enjoyed that. Like the way the the Z six jetpack is just like a completely different uh, color combination than everything else. I don't know. This one has just always spoken to me a little bit more. I actually really like this premium format too. I have this one. I also have their Empire Strikes Back. And I don't have it with me here yet because I still need to move stuff. But I have SciShow's original premium format, Boba Fett, which oddly enough was also Return of the Jedi. But it was just, it was an older one. It's not as detailed, but it still has its merits. So just to kind of give you a quick overview from top to bottom. Everything, I think, on this is a new sculpt. When they first announced it, I kind of figured that they were just going to take parts from their Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett and, and reuse them. But to me, most of, this, most of the items on here look new. In fact, if I pop the head off of the Empire Strikes Back... And you can see that they're similar, but they're they're definitely different. Just the way that the top of the visor uh, wraps around, that's different. The rangefinder, that's different too. So there are quite a few differences. The armor is totally different. Uh, one major sculpting difference are the gauntlets. So on the Return of the Jedi one... I feel like they're much more in scale to to the one quarter figure, whereas for whatever reason the Empire Strikes Back ones to me look enormous and they're kind of oddly shaped. Like this one is like squared off, really weird. But this one they they scaled them back a little bit and I think it reads a whole lot better. The cod piece is also totally different. You can see along the edges it's sort of rounded. Whereas on the Empire Strikes Back one, it's it's way more angular. Sorry, that was a terrible job aiming. <laughs> yeah, this one also has a swap out hand. So you can pull up the concussion grenade launcher and just swap it with like a, a generic open hand. I think it's kind of interesting too that the pose that they chose for this is super similar to the old Don Post life-size Boba Fett. Which, for the record is one Boba Fett item I do not have, but I really want. But it's hard to find that nowadays for anything under like $10,000, and you can never get it shipped, so 
It's just not in the cards at the moment. But anyway, I digress. I do like how they kind of replicated that pose with the um, EE3 blaster being sort of hoisted up. Like he's, he's ready to aim and shoot. So it's just sort of like a really kind of dirty, hairy pose, which is cool. He is on a base reminiscent of Jabba's Palace. So you can see he has some grating on there. And looks like, um, not vents, but gutters almost. <laughs> paint job on it's nice. I think the paint applications on this Boba Fett are really good all around. You know, like like I'd said about the, the bus, the Return of the Jedi paint scheme is definitely a lot more simple than um, The Empire Strikes Back. But for a figure like this, for something that's mass-produced, I think that works. It's easier to replicate that and have it done accurately. I'm just going to kind of swing around to the back. It's a little dusty, sorry. But it's cool, too, that the jetpack has all, like, the little emblems on there. Cloth goods cape that can be posed a little bit. But I usually like just to kind of keep it at a nice hanging pose. Doesn't need to be fancy. But yeah, so that's it. That is the most recent Sideshow Collectibles quarter scale Boba Fett. Uh, the next video you guys will probably see me do, either it's going to be another update to my collection once I get more stuff moved to this apartment, or for my next Sideshow purchase, which is the legendary scale Boba Fett. So I'm super excited about that, even though it's Empire Strikes Back. But I think he looks really cool. And I look forward to getting that in and reviewing it. In the meantime, thanks for watching.